Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click the little red button below. And if you'd like to be notified of my posts first, click the little bell and it'll send you a notification as soon as I post. Okay, I'm following a new story that I found here um, 18 years ago back in um, Florida, July 10th, 1998. There was a woman by the name of Gloria Williams. Um, she was from Waterboro, and uh, she decided to go into a hospital uh, d disguised as a nurse, and she abducted um, a newborn baby, carried it out in a bag, and uh, raised that baby for 18 years. Um, she named the baby, uh, shoot, I think the name was K Kimea, or sorry, she was born uh, Kimea Mobley at the Health uh, Jacksonville uh, UF hospital and um, it's pretty um, shocking that you know even 18 years ago that somebody could walk into a hospital and walk out with a baby in a bag and nobody's gonna notice that um, I just want to encourage people who are out there in the world in these fields to be aware of something that just doesn't seem right or does seem a little odd um, to to watch and be careful and just you know keep a lookout because um, clearly there's some people out there that just have you know enough audacity to go in and and do something this brash in the middle of daytime um, in the middle of a hospital that's probably busy full of many many people all over the place um, pretty shocking that somebody could get away with doing this um, she had recently miscarried a baby and I guess this is what sort of put, set her into this mode of wanting you know, wanting to have a baby that was hers kind of thing. Um, the mother, um, her name was Sanera, and uh, she was 16 years old when she gave birth to her daughter and only to find out that she couldn't bring her home from the hospital. I mean, how traumatic is that? The name uh, that was used by the uh, Gloria Williams after she kidnapped the daughter was Alexis Manigo. Um, and the actual name of the girl was Kimea. Um, and she, you know, she believed that Williams was her mother, her biological mother, her entire life. So when it came to head and she was arrested um, in January 2017, it was a pretty traumatic situation for everyone involved, especially the, uh, the young girl who was you know, 18 years old. So now fast forward into court and the judge is, you know, completely blown away by the facts in the case as well. And in fact, does state that there is no winner or loser in this situation. Um, and sentenced uh, Gloria Williams to 18 years, the exact amount of time that she had uh, kidnapped this, this girl. So the maximum amount um, allowed for punishment on that law is 22 years in that state. And um, the biological mother was, of course, pushing for the maximum. However, um, the, the daughter who was kidnapped actually wanted leniency for her um, abductor. And I mean, I think that psychologically that would play a huge toll on somebody if you're you know raised in a quote-unquote normal home um, where there isn't any issues or anything to really be worried about um, you know why would she have any doubt about her life and then to for all of that to come to head when she's a, a young woman is just it must just be shocking for her so um, yeah, pretty interesting story. Um, I thought it was kind of um, crazy and far-fetched that, that somebody could just go walking into a hospital in the middle of daytime and, and do something that awful. Um, so I will share some pictures of the people and uh, just wanted to share this for awareness for the people who are out there working in these fields and in these areas to just be, be careful and be watchful and, you know, protect those young little babies, protect those people who have no voice, you know. Thanks for watching, folks, and it's been great sharing this story with you. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Maybe you have a story of your own that you know about. Please share it in the comments. I'd love to hear about it, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time, folks. Bye for now.